Today is January 20th, 2011, and you're with Carolina Considered on Fripp Island in South Carolina. Who are we talking with today? Hi, my name is Pete Richards. And Mr. Richards, I understand that you're the president of Friends of Fort Fremont. That's correct. When was the uh, Friends Group for Fort Fremont created? We officially were created in 2009, although we had been working for a number of years prior to that on the Fort Fremont project. And why was the organization considered necessary? The primary reason was to create an, a, a legal situation where we could be a, a fundraising nonprofit organization. And this was something that would be required doing the kinds of work that we're doing. We have to seek uh, contributions and donations from people and that tax benefit capability of a 501c3 corporation is really important. And who all is involved with this uh, group? Do you have members or a board? Or? We have uh, both. Uh, we have a board of directors, and then we have uh, individual members. Uh, we're, again, relatively new uh, in the organization formation. We're excited about... Uh, where we're going, some of the things that we've been doing, and uh, we think that this is going to be a tremendous, uh, exciting asset for, for Buford and, and uh, its visitors and its residents. Uh, how many people are on your board? or Were any of them particularly active when the uh, organization was created? Well, as a matter of fact, uh, there are seven on the board five of which have worked together as a team for the last three years developing a conceptual plan for, for the fort in terms of things that we wanted to do with it that we thought would make it a very uh, historic, wonderful uh, contribution to Buford. Well, let's, let's turn to that if we can now. What kinds of uh, activities does the Friends Group uh, sponsor? Well, our, our mission is to try to involve uh, a number of, of, get involved with a number of issues that impact the fort. Uh, we have had, uh, we've partnered with the South Carolina Native Plant Society. We have a young lady, Wendy Wilson, who coordinates that, and, and she uh, does plantings. We've done that on a couple of occasions where we brought the community out, invited people to come participate, and we've created buffer zones along the edges of the, of the fortification. One of our, uh, our team members uh, conducts a, a historical uh, presentation for the University of South Carolina's uh, Ollie Center, talking about the history of Fort Fremont and the uniqueness of this particular site and why it's so uh, so important as a Spanish American era fortification. I heard from people visiting the fort site when I was able to go over there yesterday that you folks uh, help keep it clean. That's correct. That's correct. We uh, we have cleanups. Uh, on a fairly regular basis, we have been able to arrange for some facilities, uh, which it was really a very important thing since the closest facility is up on Highway 21, some 7.5 miles away. So this is very, very important. So we're very pleased with that. By facility, do you mean that porta potty at the yes, entrance? Yes, that's, that's, <laughs> that's correct. Well, I was most <laughs> grateful for it. <laughs> There was another very, very important project, and, and that is the Boy Scouts, Explorer Scouts, uh, Nathaniel Rollins and his team, came out and built a stairway system from the ground up to the top of the batteries. I used that too. This was really, really important because prior to that, uh, people had to climb up dirt, uh, the sides of the, the batteries, and it was uh, very, very uh, difficult for uh, the seniors. And, and uh, so this was a real contribution and a very major project, and so we're very pleased to have that done. 
Were you the folks who worked on the uh, graffiti and the writing on the walls and everything? No, that is... Some, uh, somebody has. Yeah, there have been attempts to do that. Uh, public works with the county. We work very closely with Buford County in all of their departments. And that is uh, an issue that, that they're, they're going to get to. There, there are a great many things that we have to work on uh, on the site that are addressed in, in, in our planning um, programs. Well, uh, while I was there, a passerby uh, that I uh, captured and, and talked to uh, told me that uh, the site didn't used to look like it does now, that a lot has been done to make it more attractive. The only way that I can can uh, explain this is that many years ago, I first looked at it and the vines were so thick, you couldn't see it from the road. And I made a mental note that Indiana Jones wouldn't have touched this place. He wouldn't have gone there at all. So the county, when they first came in, they did a tremendous job of clearing this out so you could see what a real jewel this park site is. I wanted to mention that. Does your friends group have interaction with local government groups such as the county? And- yes. Oh, we are. It's a it's a partnership. Uh, a protected lands partnership is is really what we call it. Uh, and we are uh, our friends group. The mission is really to work with the county and we want to accomplish three things. We want to work with the county to develop the park. We want to work with the county to develop the preservation of the batteries. That's a second major item. And then at the same time, we want to help uh, build support throughout Buford for, for, for the county.